Welcome to our presentation on the benefits of using 123Sync with ACT. Before we start, I would like to just briefly explain one to what 123Sync is so it is easier to understand our initial slides here. So 123Sync is middleware that connects ACT with Microsoft Exchange, Office 365, or Outlook. The amazing part about the Exchange platform is that a variety of items connect to it, including Outlook and Exchange users, mobile devices, including iPads, iPhones, uh, Android, you name it, and as well any kind of uh, client software, most of them or all of them that we know connect with Exchange. So let's just recap. 123Sync is middleware. It's been in existence since 1997. It is compatible with all versions of client and server versions of Windows. It can be installed on an independent machine, on an ACT server, an Exchange server, which for our case we prefer that, a terminal server, or a virtual machine. So let's look briefly at the problems with the current ACT integration with the mobile world. First let's look at email. The ACT email integration is manual, so you have to go back to the office and integrate the email. Emails that are sent and received from mobile devices are currently not recorded. Since most of today's business is actually done on mobile devices, this is a major problem in ACT. The reason we got ACT was to be able to look at the content and see all the information between the contact and, and ourselves. So emails that are sent and received directly from Outlook or even other client software are not recorded in ACT. Email invitations, if they are multi-user, are miscreated to be independent activities in ACT and cannot be properly tracked. So if you have a modification in one Im email invitation, then um, that c does not make it back into ACT. So there's a major problem with the email integration in ACT. So now let's go to the contacts. So new and modifications that are reside on the mobile phones are not being brought back into ACT. If you're in a mobile phone and you want to create a note about the contact, that doesn't come back into ACT. Let's look at the activities. So if you modify an activity on the mobile device, those activities in general do not make it back into, or the modification do not make it back into ACT. So if you assign an activity to a user, like on the iPhones that allow you to do that, uh, they don't make it into ACT or they get assigned to the My Records. So now you're out on the field for two days. You, you've created 20 appointments and you come back and all the appointments are assigned to My Record. Well, that's not correct. You should be assigned to the correct contacts in ACT. Recurring events. So if you have a recurring event and you clear a recurring event, those are not uh, supported currently. Banner activities. If you want a birthday to come up on the banner on uh, Outlook or Exchange or uh, or even on the mobile phones, those are not supported. And let's take it even further. So ACT performs the integration at the client level, which means that the integration is at the mercy of each operator client machine. So if you're running a 10-user ACT database, you don't know whether John or Paul has actually integrated or done the proper integration into ACT. And if you look up a record, you really are not sure what has been happening to that contact. So let's have a reality check on this. At best, ACT only integrates 70% of the communication data between contacts and users. If email is your primary communication platform, ACT integration rates can be very low. 0% if somebody doesn't follow the instructions you gave them, so you're going to be dependent on that user to follow the instructions. 
at the same time, client level solutions like ACT need an independent 24 7 server based integration mechanism to bring the world together. The client solution is great, but they need something in the background or in the back that will actually bring the world together. The integration must be automatic. It should not be user operated. It should be there automatically get into the contact that you're actually communicating with. The beautiful thing about this is we know that every device, mobile phones, tablets, and phones of the future they all sync with Microsoft Exchange. Exchange is the common denominator between all these systems. So if you have an Android, Windows Phone, or iPhone, or iPad, an Android tablet, they all communicate with Exchange via the emails can be integrated with Exchange as well as all the contacts. Let's look at the benefits of 123 Sync in this environment that is mobile as well as heterogeneous. Let's concentrate all data synchronization to one machine for all ACT users. You have 24 7 synchronization. All client ACT Outlook Sync can be removed from the client machines. This will cause a much faster outlook on the clients. One of the main reasons people start using ACT is because it slows down Outlook so much. With Outlook now free to operate, you can actually do some proper work in Outlook and synchronize all the data. It also makes for a faster ACT. There's a much lower maintenance cost on the client machines. You don't have all the users coming to you saying that this does work, this doesn't work, everything is done on a server level, single point. You have a global synchronization for all mobile devices and it's a low-cost centralized multi-user integration. So let's look at our 123 sync diagram now. Here we have 123 sync synchronized and act with Microsoft Exchange and integrating all the data. One of the things that we've seen is Microsoft Exchange or even the smartphones tend to generate duplicates. So we've added a duplicate checker every time we put data from Microsoft Exchange over into ACT and the same way from ACT over to Microsoft Exchange we have a duplicate checker so you don't get duplicate data. So let's look at the great benefits of using 123Sync with ACT. First, let's do email. There's no manual integration, so all the email gets automatically integrated for you for the mailboxes that you set up. All matching emails that are sent and received are integrated. Whether they get sent from Outlook, the mobile phones, whatever, they get integrated. Of course, we put it, you can add filters in 123Sync to exclude certain emails. The email invitations are always assigned to the correct contacts, of course, if the contact exists in ACT. And even multi-user invite invitations get assigned to the correct contacts. The client-side Outlook in ACT now is free to do Outlook instead of having an add-in that is slowing down Outlook. So it makes much better usage of the Outlook. So every sent and received email is listed on the ACT contacts history as an attachment or as a text or both. You can also add customizable exclusion rules for the inbox and the sent items. And lo and behold, we support up to 10 email fields to match. Most users have between three to seven emails that they use for communication. You can put those email fields into ACT and we will match them to those fields. And finally, we do full subfolder integration. 
what we see seen in most Outlook environments, people have a multitude of subfolders. We scan all the subfolders on the inbox for email integrate for emails that should be integrated into Act. Well, that is only the email part. Now let's go into the activities, which is one major part that we've focused on synchronizing the ACT activities with the Exchange Calendar. Of course, all the activities go to the native activities in or calendaring on the mobile phones or whatever client software you're using. So we synchronize new and modify activities bet between the mobile devices, Exchange and ACT. Activity assignments get assigned to the correct contact. So if you do an email invitation to John and John then exists in ACT, I will actually be assigned to John in ACT. Recurring events. We sync full recurring events as well as exceptions on the recurring events including modifications of singular events as well as clearing and deletion of singular events. Recurring events today are very important on uh, PDAs and on uh, mobile phones to keep track of, um, of events. Banner activities. So if you want to schedule birthdays and to appear on the banners, we, say, we synchronize that. We also synchronize contracts. We do a full contact sync, including any fields that you may deem necessary to change on the field mapping. You can create customized details section for the contacts that make it to the contacts, such as you know, fields that you usually do not sync with the phone. You can embed those into the body text of the contact. We also merge all mobile device contacts with ACT. So if you create anything on the mobile device, it will bring it back into ACT. A very important feature we provide is you can only sync a group of contacts. So if you have 10,000 contacts, but you only want uh, a group of 350 that are most important for you or are part of your, your customer base, or even like for salespeople, you're part of a region, uh, you can actually create that group and we will only sync that small piece of the contacts with your mobile devices. One to three sync provides full synchronization control. You can go one way from ACT to Outlook Exchange, one way from Outlook Exchange to ACT. It can be bi-directional. can be bi-direction with restrictions. A full set of directionality restraints are available for contacts, calendar, and task sync, i.e. you can have delete permissions enabled, change permissions, or add permissions, as well as a dominant setting. If there's a modification in Act in Outlook, you can you can state which one is going to win. So, if you've reached this part of the presentation, you probably already figured out your current implementation of Act. First, it destroys Outlook, makes Outlook so slow that it basically destroys the usability of Outlook. On top of that, it partially integrates email. The number one source of customer satisfaction and customer interaction today, it just partially integrates that. And on to, to top it all, it does not provide a full customer history when you need it. So. So whether you're running a single installation where you're integrating Outlook emails or a modern company with mobile devices, you need the benefits of 123Sync. This is what we call the ultimate integration for ACT. There's no user intervention on the integration of contacts, calendar, and emails. ACT becomes the centerpiece of what you purchase this for the centerpiece for the contacts, your activities, your history, and your notes. And by dealing with, by opening a content in ACT, you will have all that data there. ACT becomes a fully integrated CRM versus a 70% CRM that we see now. 
and the beauty of this solution is you have unlimited device support iPad iPhone Android tablets Windows phones tablets you name it whether they exist today or they're going to be invented tomorrow all these items will sync with exchange so you have access to all that and you do not have to change your underlying structure of the synchronization and in in an integration and the and even more beautiful is there's no apps or client software needed on what you want to integrate we all use the native apps on iPads or Androids and Windows phones and there's an option that you can actually mix the integration of contacts calendar and email so if you only want to integrate email we offer that option if you only integrate just contacts but no calendar we can do that or if you want to just do calendar you can actually integrate just calendar without having to integrate the, uh, the contacts so let's just look beyond our integration and synchronization between act and exchange so what we're doing with with using one two three sync we we're, we're shifting the focus of the user from the mechanics on how to integrate into the actual business so when he gets when the user is at the office he's doing business he's not trying to figure out where to put this email or that email or he's not trying to figure out uh, how to to get an appointment uh, from uh, act over to his smartphone and double typing it so we are providing you the focus into your business and also you can integrate non act user contacts calendar and emails so you can set up a one two three sync to integrate uh, cell phones that uh, have don't have an act user and we provide the mechanism to do that obviously there's no installation of apps of any kind on the mobile devices we use all the native uh, devices and connections that go from the devices over to the exchange server and we provide full support of what we call the heterogeneous and mixed integration devices heterogeneous to be totally different sets of devices whether it's Windows whether it's Windows mobile whether it is Android or iPhone iPad we support all those and in on our email we also have a bounce email detection which will actually find if the email has bounced that you send out you find the right contact so as our final point is uh, you as a user and as administrator you should embrace a platform for infinite future expansion so what we've seen our customers tend to be with us for three four five even more years and using this application and all they do when they update their phones they just sync their phones with exchange and they're back in business there is very little setup easy to maintain low cost and contact your integrator if you need more information or you can contact us at 123sync.com for more info again thank you for listening to our presentation and feel free to contact us with any questions that you may have